If you're taking yesterday into consideration, this weekend might not be the perfect example, but consistent warmer weather and sunny skies are on their way in Florida, and that means packed beaches in the months ahead. And to prep for that, in Pinellas County, they're recruiting for lifeguards. Our Malik Rankin explains how they handle short staffing with big crowds. Yeah, all day, every day, we're scanning. While lifeguards scan the beaches, the aquatics program supervisor is scanning for recruits. This season in particular being tougher than the rest, we always have problems to find lifeguards. This season being in particular tough. Andrea Morera says there are openings for 25 lifeguards in Pinellas County to prepare for the summer season. There are over 40 hours of training and certifications required for the job. The flexibility we are doing this year is we train you. If you don't have that certification, we're going to hire you and instead putting you in the beach, you're going to go to all this training before you even are able to be at the beach. You have to swim 500 meters in under 10 minutes and run a mile in under eight minutes. When Lifeguards aren't treating jellyfish stings or stingray bites. It's often all hands on deck for situations like this. At least every week we get a lot of uh, missing children, um, you know, people not paying attention too close to their uh, to their kids. With so many lifeguard positions currently open, the aquatics program supervisor says you should plan ahead before taking the family out to the beach because there might not be a lifeguard on duty. We have sign A in the entrance of the park to let you know if we're going to be operating or not. Sand Key, Fort DeSoto and Fred Howard beaches all have openings. Starting pay is just over $14 an hour.